Hi guys, hi, it's Rob G.I. here in Surprise, Arizona. It is um, the first week of May 2012. I had a, um, a little meeting here with my local hunt group called azhunters.com. Uh, my brother-in-law, Robert H. and I presented a pneumatic showcase. Um, Steve Cosey was in town, um, known as the Hall Staff, on YouTube, and he did uh, his presentation on electronics and controllers and also um, pneumatics and um, wiper motors as well. And I wanted to kind of show you a little quick little thing here that um, I did. Uh, we have a loss of power effect. I have a couple different light bulbs here. Kind of going in and out of mimicking the loss of power. I have another one right here too. And this is a very, very affordable um, a lighting effect. If you want to do this for a garage hunt, um, probably didn't cost me more than 25 bucks per kit to build. Um, with that, and uh, I'll turn the light just a second to kind of show you what I did. Here we go. Towards the back here, I have a mini flicker bulb reading off a photo cell sensor that I picked up over at Ace Hardware Store. Um, last year they're about 10 bucks, and they kind of increased in prices, so it's about 14 bucks per one right now. So I went ahead and bought a couple when they were already cheap, just in case. Um, they, they are pretty sensitive, and you bang them around quite a bit. These little white sensors here, um, they don't tend to work out too well down the road, so you've got to be kind of kind of careful with them to a point. And how I found the lighting kit, I found the lighting kit effect on a website called Boo It Yourself. Boo It Yourself, and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions how to do it. There is no soldering involved, nothing like that. It's very simple to do. Um, per cell, you can probably operate up to three to six lights off per cell. Um, photo cell, I'm sorry. And what I did for the light bulbs, as you see the light bulbs kind of blacked out there, um, I did not use regular spray paint or any type of flat spray paint. You get a Home Depot or Lowe's, really, really cheap paint. I went ahead and purchased the high intensity uh, spray paint you get for like, um, if you're doing your grill. It's a little more money, it's about, I think about anywhere between eight to 10 bucks per can, but a little goes a long way. And what I did, I went ahead and got some clear light bulbs, the cheapest I can get over at Home Depot. And uh, I didn't get the frost white ones, I got the clear, 100% clear ones. Um, it, it seemed to, to spray on better that way. And I kind of, I went ahead and sprayed the light bulbs completely. And how I, how I kind of scratched it, I used a little bit of a, um, um, some, God, what did I use? I forget what I used. Uh, a little sandpaper, there we go. Um, had some sandpaper, some really, really fine grit sandpaper, and just kind of scraped it off lightly. And I also used a little bit of a, of a screwdriver to kind of get the scratch marks like there, because you don't want it so, so bright for your, for your hunt, or maybe you do, but for my hunt, I didn't want it too, too guys turn bright. So, um, that's all those work, man. I'll turn the light again. There we go. So for my 2011 garage hunt, um, it was all hallways. There was no rooms at all. Um, it was uh, about five hallways in width. And I had about 16 to 20 lights um, throughout the whole event. And uh, to build the whole lighting kit for me was under, I think I spent no more than 60 bucks to build all the lighting kits. Um, the, the can lighting, what I found, I found these can lights over at Habitat for Humanity. Um, they're already cheap, they're used, they're not very fancy and all, but our, our thing was industrial nightmare, so it actually worked out pretty well for the aesthetics of it, but there's a lighting kit, so maybe someone can use this down the road, maybe not, I just want to kind of show a little bit of the lighting kit. Thanks for watching.